Here they come in the greatest of all auto classics, the 500-mile race at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Motorsports has always been a platform for technology and safety development. The rear view mirror, the seat belt were all developed at the Indianapolis 500. The pick of the country's speed demons are out here in that dizzy world, pushing their cars to 100 miles an hour and more. You have various different forms of motorsports which all uh, stand for certain things. You have NASCAR which is pure entertainment, very little uh, technology or modern day technology. Formula One is the biggest annual sporting event. So Formula E has a long way to go. Away we go, the Berlin E Prix. Formula E is a full electric championship, uh, started three years ago, and is, the races are all based into cities. Usable energy. Here's the, the heads up display on the right. We've got all kinds of information, usable power. Watch the regen as he breaks. Formula One, Formula E, which are developing technologies today that we're going to see our road car in the future. In the 1980s, McLaren realized the benefit of using electronics in their race cars and so started um, an electronics company, which is now McLaren Applied Technologies. And really, that company has supported all of McLaren's other endeavors throughout the last, last 20 or 30 years. Supercars are a natural testing ground for electric technology. You can take more risks and you can push the boundaries a lot more and you've, you've got the time and the budget essentially to develop um, a more riskier technology such as electrification technologies that are coming in. With Formula E we took the technology from the McLaren P1 because that was tried and tested technology and it was reliable. There are many challenges that we uh, see in other industries and other parts of society, which Formula E is giving us a sandpit to start to drive new technological developments in. Um, the most obvious is, is batteries. McLaren Applied Technologies got involved with uh, Formula E won the, uh, would say, battery tender, uh, which had been previously supplied by someone else. So we're bringing forward our battery technology. It will be for season five and will be the first season in which the drivers can complete the entire race with our battery technology versus today where you're needing to change cars. Oh, Jeff goes defensive. <laughs> Bit naughty there. He went defensive early on. Well, in IndyCar, if you don't make a move,